Hi, I'm Patrick Santini. Welcome to San Francisco, home of Super Bowl 50. Right now, I'm standing in front of the main gate of Super Bowl City, where many of the structures were built out of mod trust. And I'm going to walk you through some of the things it took to put this event together. The success of Super Bowl City requires the talents of many professionals. Let's hear from Filmworks International, who has been tasked with the safe construction of these sets. My name is David Fioravanti. I work for Filmworks. I am the director of the Specialty Structures Division. I am the main project manager overseeing all of our builds at Super Bowl City. We've been started in planning back in April from obviously the city, the NFL host committee. One of the biggest challenges of Super Bowl City with our loading process had to do with public access. So with regards to the trucks on the first day, they were kept on Treasure Island in the Boneyard. Um, that was supplied by NFL host committee and we had intervals that they would come in uh, and get unloaded. They couldn't stay on site. They had to drive right into Justin Herman Park. We had to get offloaded pretty quick out of the way and get the next truck in. It took pretty much all day to get that done because we had to do it with traffic not being halted or stopped so we had to control that as well. One of the ways that mod truss is most important to us is the fact that we have very clean lines because of the steel truss that we utilize as our bases. We don't have to have guy lines or big ugly cement blocks. Now that we've leveled the foundation, we're bringing in some local musicians to guide us through the next phases of the assembly. Rope, two, red. So once we started to load in, we had the main roof structure, which was 40 by 40, and then we had what we call the perch, which was a 20 by 20 that sat on top of the main structure. We put these pieces in a line in three rows and then brought a crane in and lifted one at a time, uh, which really made things go a lot easier, made the process a lot smoother, um, and time-wise, it gave us the ability to be able to do this whole process in three days. So now that the skeleton is in place, the skins are properly fastened, let's hear from the structural engineer that stamped this project. My name is Jeff Reeder, I'm uh, Principal Structural Engineer at Clark Reeder Engineering. Uh, the project came to us in October of 2015. The big challenge was the perch on top and getting lateral stability in that system. The 40x40 40 40 presented a challenge just because it had to be a clear span for the television set and then we had to clad it with windows. So we ended up going with laminated mod truss to create the bottom cord of a truss and then the top cords were actually uh, another 12x12 12 12 mod truss piece that had hinges on it. Filmworks actually sends us a SketchUp file of the structure, which allows us to move around it in the 3D and see where all the different pieces and parts are. It's a good collaborative process. It's easy to maneuver in that software. Once they're done, they send us PDFs of the entire structure for use in the submittal. The wind was a big challenge because we are out on the bay. We designed it for 67 miles an hour. It's got an anemometer on the top that gives them minute-by-minute -minute readouts. 
there is an action plan with the structure whereby we evacuate the interior set at 50 miles an hour and the perch at 35. And I think we had 40 on it last night and the structure performed very well. One of the greatest aspects of working with Modtrus and SketchUp is its seamless integration when it comes to designing. SketchUp's free version allows anyone to access the 3D warehouse, which contains a complete library of every Modtrus product and accessory. I really like working on it, especially on these, these studio type projects, because we've been able to do pretty much any configuration we want, any shape, and you know, if you look in the structure, they can make attachments for lighting anywhere they want. They can, uh, you know, pretty much whatever they can create in their mind, they can pretty much do it, you know, out in the field with the, with the product. Now that the shell is complete, the set designers and scenic team come in to finish the details of the interior. Johnny Cho, uh, scenic person for the S, uh, Super Bowl City set. We're using Marlite on this stage. Uh, it all comes in 8x4 sheets, so you have to lay them out just kind of the same way tile lays out. So you start one by one, and you make sure all the seams are nice and tight, and uh, custom trimming, just the same way tile gets laid in. SketchUp was used for this whole set to design the mock-ups. Personally, I use SketchUp for everything. I think it helps because it's something that the client can actually just open up themselves and figure out how to navigate around the, the, the CAD. This iconic structure is only a small part of this production. Back in the broadcast compound, there are teams of technical staff and infrastructure that make this set come to life. After months of planning and coast-to-coast -coast logistics, we have the honor of opening Super Bowl City for the fans to enjoy the grounds, the atmosphere, and of course, the game.